For 11 years, a team of archaeologists has been at work here. The aim to unearth a part of the great palace of Byzantium, once the nerve center of the Eastern Roman Empire. So far, about a sixth of it has been uncovered, but not without problems. The ground level has risen. Over the past 70 or 80 years, it's risen one and a half to two meters. To reach the Byzantine layers, we needed to dig seven or eight meters deep. That complicated our work because we had to dig in very small spaces. In the 4th century, the Great Palace covered an area of some 14 football pitches. It was the main residence of the Byzantine emperors and the centre of the imperial administration for some 800 years. But over the centuries, it gradually fell into ruin and by the 20th century, it had almost completely disappeared. A lack of funds means the sections which can still be seen are in a very poor condition. If we don't restore them, in two or three years' time, they could very easily be completely destroyed, and that would be a great shame. The restoration of the palace would cost about 3 million euros. If the money's not found soon, time might well run out for this piece of Byzantine history.